Hey everybody, um, welcome back. Um, I'm, as you can see behind me, doing some printing. Um, I haven't really done a lot of uh, showing what uh, uh, this whole project is, uh, the main technology that we're using, which is uh, the uh, 3D printing. Um, so you can see my 3D printer, this is a Creality. Uh, CR10105 and uh, it's a 500 by 500 millimeter by 500 millimeter print volume and what I'm doing here is I'm not really happy with the uh, scoops for the turbos and so I'm gonna reprint them out and then reskin them <clears throat> so um, just wanted to kind of uh, talk to you guys about uh, these types of printers. This is a desktop printer that I got from Amazon. Um, I think at the time it was about 900 bucks, so it really wasn't that expensive. Um, this one is the one that's in my office at work, and it's been running uh, probably about maybe 10% of the prints, so the bigger stuff I will uh, commit to this. Um, and then Basically, so like front fascia parts, rear fascia parts, stuff like that, were actually printed on this machine. Um, also, some parts that I'm not using anymore. Like I did a steering wheel um, that was uh, not going to go in the car because I didn't think it would end up being uh, safe enough, and that's why we went with the Audi steering wheel. So anyway, um, we're just printing uh, some of the parts for the scoops. Um, one of the things or lessons learned um, in all of this, um, especially after the car show where the car sat out in this, you know, 97 degree heat all day long, it really showed uh, where some of the uh, problems were. So when I was printing panels that were, say, 10 millimeters thick, um, those are the ones that I had most of the problems with. Um, in the sun, they would sort of cave in. Um, so I've gone to this type particular setup, which is, sorry, I can't see that very well, but um, this is uh, going to be uh, five outer layers, um, and the uh, infill is going to be 25%, and it's in set for fast honeycomb. So that is uh, where I've had the best luck. Um, I did the doors like that, I did the rear quarters like that, and have had absolutely no problems with those. Um, so this is kind of a live and learn, um, and the uh, scoops I did in one shot, um, which made a lot of interior uh, areas that were hard to get at. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to print these in two pieces, skin them, then glue them together. Um, so. This is just more of a video to show you uh, about this machine, which is uh, absolutely fantastic. Um, the company is very responsive uh, if you have any issues. Um, the one at home, which is a smaller version of this, has went a year and a quarter full time. So it was just cooking. Um, they also have great customer service, so they've uh, done a lot for um, fixing things if, if you have issues. Um, the one at home I've had to replace the head once. So anyway, thanks again for watching. Um, if you have any questions on the 3D printing, uh, just put it down in the uh, comments section. So thanks again. Bye.